welcome to my playhouse and today I'm not in my playhouse because it's a weekend but um, I was talking in my last video about thermostats and I told you that I had another uh, thermostat at home that was not entirely as smart as the one I have in my playhouse so, and uh, it's this one it's a uh, Honeywell I think it's pronounced I think it's American company but probably made in China I can see on their web page that they have been working with Chinese companies of, in China since 1935 so probably not made in the US but I don't know but um, I found this one in my bedroom and it has run dry of power and that's okay because it has been I think it's three years on a pair of batteries so I'm not complaining but I have to change these and I thought it might be interesting to make a video about this because I haven't I saw this a couple of weeks ago and I thought ah, I don't really need that heat in my bedroom right now but I actually do it's gotten quite cold here so I want to change these batteries and I thought that why not make a video about that and we can program the dates and we can see when when do I need heat in my bedroom and when do I not he need the heat and uh, I was thinking about programming that so let's see if we can do that and uh, with this thing there comes some couplings this um, of course this one is a coupling and I suppose there might be some radiators that that use this coupling I don't know any but, but then there's three other couplings that is used. I know I've used this one on one radiator and there's also this, this little one. It's like a pin that you put on, put on a pin in here and that's a coupling in itself. But actually the, this black one is the one that I have used the most. And we'll be mounting this one, the, the thermostat, on my radiator again, and it has a black one. So, but now I'll change the batteries and we'll try to program it. Okay, here's the thing. And right now it's, it's not working. There's nothing in the display. And to get into the batteries, there's like these tabs on the side that you can turn. They they go out and they are on both sides and they have to go out and a little down. And then you can pull this top off bridge. This, this is the part that that uh, goes into the radiator and pushes the yeah to get more or less water in. And this turns around. So We'll put that aside for just a minute. And in here we have the batteries. And this metal slider, it slides away from the batteries. There we are. And there's a battery there and a battery there. So, and they come right out. It's AA batteries. So these are used. I'll dispose of those. And I got a pair of brand new batteries. And we'll put them in. Plus and minus and we'll put that one over there and then we actually there's something in the display now but we have to put this cap on too because otherwise it will come and com complain there we are and now it wants it wants the date and this is the year, so we'll set that to 2014 and press program. And then it wants the month, and it's January. And I think we have the 21th today. Right, it's right there. I'll just check. Oh, the computer said we have the 22th. Oh, okay. Got it there. And then we have to set the time. 
and here it's five. Let's go back five and program. And the minutes are ten. So that's that way, ten. There. And program. So now we are ready to program this thing. And um, it has different settings. Uh, right now it tells us that the night temperature is like 15 degrees. And in the manual that I have right here, it says that the default is like 16 degrees. So what this tells me is that this thermostat, it remembers the settings that I've made on it. And it, it, it looks about right about these things. That's when I need heat in my bedroom. So, but we'll go into the menu and see what's, what's it set to. There's like different programs. This is, uh, I think this is day one. Uh, like a Monday and on Monday I go to work so at 5.30 in the morning this uh, thermostat it turns up the temperature let's see and it turns it off again at 8 o'clock at 8 o'clock I really should be at work and then again at night I don't really need heat when I'm sleeping, but it's very nice to come into the bedroom and it's not too cold. So at 9.30 in the, in the night, it turns on again and it turns down at 23 o'clock. Um, and then this is Tuesday and it does exactly the same thing. And three is Wednesday, it does the same thing. And Thursday, it does the same thing. And five is Friday. And Friday, I usually go up to my playhouse. So it's a bit different. It only turns on in the morning. And turns off at eight o'clock. And then there's nothing. It doesn't turn on again in the night. And six, which is Saturday, no, Sunday, what is it, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, yeah. it's all off. And Sunday, oh. number seven, the seventh. Uh, day of the week it only turns up at night because I come home at about if you saw the last video I'm supposed to be on the way home at about five o'clock so it only needs to turn on at night so that I have a nice warm uh, bedroom and it turns off again 23 And here you can set the temperatures, like I found out that 15 degrees is actually, I don't need that high. So I could set it to 12 degrees, let's, let's do that, 12, check, and then do we really have to go through all this, let's do that very quick. degrees and that's like the program for this one and it's because it's the bedroom I don't need much heat much heat in the bedroom um, and this is like 19 degrees is like the temperature when uh, when the, it's daytime I want the, the bedroom to be 19 degrees when I get into the and 19 degrees 
I'll have that in Fahrenheit and also the 12 degrees Celsius I'll have that in Fahrenheit um, but you can you can set this and say I want 21 that's that's the normal thing I like this in the living room I like 21 but in the bedroom 19 is fine it's, it's cool so and we press this one and you can see this it's set for automatic so right now we can go and mount this to the radiator and it should be working and it should uh, configure itself and program this so let's do that and this is the radiator that is going to have the thermostat mounted and it's in my bedroom I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take you on a tour of my bedroom but you can see the black thing over here that's a, a coupling so that the thermostat will fit this type of uh, not the radiator but this uh, vent um, and when when you press in this pin it closes right and right now, because I dismounted the thermostat, the radiator is fully open and it's hot. It's really hot. It's like I can feel the heat coming up here. Yeah, and I'll burn my hand if I, yeah, that's maximum. So we'll mount, we'll mount the thermostat on that one and I just have to find a good angle so that you can see it so let's see if you can see this it's just mounting it it screws right on uh. okay that was maybe easier said than done I think I got it. And now there's coming considerable considerably less heat into the radiator. And let's see if we see the display I set it to 12 degrees um, let's see if it's if, if it won't keep that this should save me a lot of heat uh, I remember the packaging of of these thermostat and they were promising about 30% and 30% is that's really a lot of money I pray I I pay about a hundred a hundred dollars a month for heat in this apartment. So if I can uh, save thirty percent, that's over. That's probably three hundred and fifty dollars that I can save. Well, that was a little introduction to the Honeywell film uh, that is over here. And even though they are not as cool as the German one I showed you last week or in my last video, um, these are still pretty good and they will save you a lot of heat. Um, and they have a lot of nice features like uh, if, if, if you're going on a vacation you don't need it to, uh, to turn on and turn off. So 
there's a vacation setting so you don't have to reprogram the entire thing you can just set it to vacation and um, set it to a constant temperature for the week that you are not there or how long you're away and when you come back you just have to tell it that uh, I'm back go back to your regular program also it has a, like a, a heat break like if you open a window uh, which is pretty normal in a house you want to change the air and you just open the windows for 10 15 minutes the radiator will turn down it will measure a certain temperature drop on the thermostat and the thermostat will think there's a window open so it will turn down the heat uh, so that not too much heat heat goes out the win window and also it has a child uh, profile like um, kind of a code that you can you can put in so that children are not able to s change the settings you could imagine that these things on the radiators would be very interesting for small children and they would go and fiddle with it and you could do you could use another evening reading through the manual and resetting everything and it you can you can protect it from children which is probably a good thing um, oh it's called window function if you open a window it will turn down hope you got something out of this it's smart it's energy that you are not going to use it's very green and uh, I know here we have central heating like we have a power plant that produces electricity and to produce electricity they produce a lot of waste heat and this waste heat is delivered to us as hot water but we do pay for the for the for the hot water and it's not it's not cheap but uh, if if you have like your own uh, gas heating or oil heating or wood stove heating you're always interested in, in using as little as possible because everything else is just a waste so save on heating it's worth it hope you found this interesting and subscribe and you'll see me again have a nice day bye bye